South African Olympic women's 800 meters champion Casta Semenya will appear at the Court of Arbitration for Sports to defend herself in her case against the International Association of Athletic Federation. Semenya is challenging a proposal by the IAAF to limit testosterone levels in female athletes between 400 meters and a mile. CGTN CS Duplessis has more. The world and Olympic 800 meter champion has continued to dominate women's athletics despite being vilified by the world's media and even fellow competitors. But now off the track, Casta Semenya faces arguably the biggest test of her stellar career as she challenges the sports governing body in what she and many others believe is a human rights issue. We need to differentiate legal with sport. This is a CASA, a sport court, not a law court. So the approach is going to be different to if she was bringing this in a, in a, in a law court. But I think she should, uh, they should have a look at the previous precedent of Duty Charmed. Um, perhaps also the previous case of Oscar Pistorius, who also challenged his right to compete as well, because it is about discrimination. The IAAF's lawyers have denied reports in the Times newspapers that they will argue Semenya is male and maintain that they have scientific research to back up their implementation of their new regulations. But for a member of Semenya's legal team speaking in an interview in 2018, the research is questionable. Well, so far they have continued to stick to the research uh, that they base their uh, regulations on. Uh, there's been a lot, lot published in scientific journals where this research has been questioned and I'd be surprised that the IAAF hasn't gone through that so clearly they think they can also poke some holes in the uh, counter arguments that have been published. Should the 28-year-old lose her appeal, it will force her into a difficult position but it won't be the end of Semenya's career. You know, if that is the ruling and if the the regulations go, then Castor will have to comply and she will have to take uh, medication. But also knowing Castor, she's also going to mention that, you know, if, if they're limiting this, these regulations between 400 meters and the 1500, then she'll go, well, then I'll try for 200. Might not work out for her, but she could possibly go up in distance. Should the woman who has unbeaten over 800 meters for the past four years be successful, it could well see the Commonwealth Games champion break records and barriers in 2019. I think she'll probably come back like a gale force wind, you know, and just kind of <laughs> break all sorts of records and, and, and go for it because the, I think just to kind of prove that point. And, you know, we've, we saw her last year, she, she, she was she ran with a purpose and, and I guess that's exactly what she'll, she'll do again and I think we might see trouble at the, this year's World Championships or you know whenever she competes this year. This landmark case is not just Custis Semenya taking on the IAAF, this is Athletic South Africa, Saskok and the South African government getting behind the golden girl of athletics, not on a sporting matter but on what is a human rights issue and one that could well change women's sport as we know it today. CSWC, CGTN. Pretoria.